Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. As always, I thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. And what I'm working on right here is something I talked about in one of my previous videos. I'm going to bond a, uh, uh, just a little two inch wide, I mean, it may be two and a half inches wide. Uh, it's a little wood strip all the way down right here at the uh, rub rail, just below that rub rail. It's going to make like a, a little sharp turn up there and just terminate oh, about 18 inches or so from the bow. So that's what I'm working on this afternoon. Now the purpose of the blue tape, of course, is once I bond this little strip in place, and let me put that in place and show you what I was talking about there. That's just so we don't get the epoxy all over the place. It'll just make it a little bit easier to clean up. This is what I was talking about right here as far as trying to break up this large area right here on this top panel. I just want to uh, put these little strips in here. They're just cosmetic. And uh, as you can see, it'll kind of just even things out a little bit, make it kind of symmetrical looking. So that's what I'm working on this afternoon. I will get back to you once those are bonded in place. All right, next segment. That's what I was talking about when I said this is just going to make kind of a, a sharp little drop off right there. And uh, did not go all the way up to the uh, front of the bow like that. I decided to go ahead and make like a little 45 degree cut right there. I thought that would probably look a little bit better. So we got him clamped in place. Well, that's the first piece. There's going to be four pieces. And uh, again, I made these pieces out of plywood, remember? Plywood comes in eight foot lengths. And uh, this little section there from the stern to right here is probably about 11 feet. So um, I'm going to have to do that in two pieces on each side. I made a little scarf cut right here. Not like these, but I just cut that on table saw, 30 degree angle. I did have a little bit of a fun time getting this thing to clamp down. It kept wanting to slide around on the top of that epoxy. Remember, I said that stuff's like axle grease until it starts to fire off. I mean, it is slippery, super, super slippery. And I just had to take a clamp and just work it all down the, uh, the length of that little strip right there. Squeeze the excess epoxy out of that joint. Same thing back here. I had to just come in here and just press as much of that epoxy out as I could. So, all right, I'll check on this later tonight. We'll see you then. All right, it's been about six hours. Let's drop those clamps. Release that one. Release that one. So forth and so on. a little bit more tricky oh, those blocks crashing down to the floor and breaking a toe might have been concerned about that for nothing oh, I stuck to the wax paper it's all right Next. <laughs> Get to see it here first, folks. Did I just glue that to the boat? Let's get this other one off. We have to pry that one loose. I got wax paper on it. hard to work around that. Let's go over here. Right behind me. It was just the wax paper sticking. That's all right. Wax paper is easy to get off. We don't worry about the wax paper sticking to it. 
I would worry about the wood sticking to it, especially a piece of wood, a little wood block that I don't want stuck to this. But we're good. So, that's that little trim strip I was talking about right there. Of course, that's the, just the front half. Got to do the back half later. Might get out here tomorrow and do that. We'll see. Have some stuff going on tomorrow. Got some family going to meet with for lunch. But, yeah. Adds a little bit of flair to it. Just kind of breaks up this large flat area right here. That's going to look all right. Okay, folks, I will see you in the next segment. Okay, folks, got the back half of that little strip bonded on. Got the clamps in place. And so, once again, got that epoxy set up. We'll have to do a little bit of uh, filler work back here. Have to fill in that gap. And I'll probably use this uh, wood flower right here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to uh, uh, do the same thing here that I did right here. I'm going to put a little fillet seal, or, or I should say a fillet bead, all along this entire little strip right here that you see. And uh, I'm going to use that same wood flower material that I used up here on uh, this seam. I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'm going to put that wood flower in this seam the entire length and uh, same thing back here and then just round it over make it look nice. So with all that um, you know just got to wait a few hours for that stuff to set up so I can get those clamps off. Alright folks next segment. Okay folks I'm back and I'm over on the opposite side now. I'm going to bond these little trim strips in place over here now. And so, yeah, I've got everything cleaned up and uh, got all the sawdust off of it. I did have to come over here and round off this corner on the lower side of this rub rail. And uh, again, that's just so the fiberglass will lay on top of that. Remember, if you leave a sharp corner, you know, fiberglass can't make that corner and you'll get an air bubble. We don't want air bubbles under our fiberglass. All right, just need to get started on that, folks. It is late and I don't want to be out here until midnight. So I will catch you here in a little while when uh, this forward piece is bonded into place. All righty, let's just check a couple of things here. And then call it a night. And uh, what I'm looking at right there, just to make sure it's sitting nice and flat down on that rub rail. I don't want it to uh, slide up. I don't want it to uh, leave me with a gap right there that I'd have to come back and address later. But it is, it's sitting nice and flat against this surface right here. And that's what I want. And so now all I can do is just uh, let that epoxy set up. Let me get this mask off. There we go. Had my mask on. I always wear a mask when you're working with fumed silica or cabosil. But um, yeah, did all my uh, final checks here, and uh, now we'll just uh, wait for this stuff to set up overnight. Hey, right, folks. I will catch you when I get ready to bond in this last piece. One last thing, then I'll call it a night. I did find a couple of little voids in this plywood. Now in this marine grade plywood you won't find very many of those but you will see them every once in a while. It's not as common as it would be with a sheet of plywood from Home Depot or Lowe's. Had another one right there and uh, I just touched those with uh, some of that epoxy while I was playing with it, while I was putting that trim strip on. And then I wipe off the excess with a rag soaked with denatured alcohol and that just saves me a little bit of extra sanding later on. Alright folks, just wanted to show that to you and uh, now 
I'm going to go and uh, hit the couch. All right, folks. That's three out of four. I've got one more little trim piece to put on. I'm laying right here, so I'm going to get my resin mixed up. And I'm going to get after it here. So, like I always say, see you in the next segment. And just like that, got that last little piece bonded on. I'm just making my checks, make sure we're nice and tight up against that side panel, nice and tight up against the bottom of that rub rail, and everything looks good. So, we're going to give that about four hours to set up. I'll check on it later, and I will see you folks later. All right, then. That's what it looks like with the clamps off. Got the entire strip bonded in place. The other side looks the same. Next step is to lay in the fillet bead with the wood flour and epoxy mixture. All right, folks. I will see you in the next segment.